Hello everyone, I am Yani Vajman from Aqua's team Nautilus, the security research team of Aqua, and today I wanted to show you a tool we open sourced named Tracy. Tracy began as an internal project in our team where we looked for a way to extract system calls that were called by containers we were investigating, and we wanted to give some context about these calls, for example, PID, process name. Uh, and namespaces of the calling process such as mount and PID namespaces. We decided to build Tracy using eBPF technology as it was a new and promising technology in Linux, uh, capable of doing more than just tracing. This decision proves to be right as we keep developing Tracy and make it a better security tool. Tracy is now more than just a system called Tracer. It's a powerful tool that can be used to perform forensics investigations and dynamic analysis of binaries. To run Tracy, a minimal Linux kernel version of 4.14 is required and BCC, which is the BPF compiler collection, and it should also be installed on the system. Okay, so after we cloned Tracy, we can just run it and see what happens. Note that Tracy requires super user privileges in order to run, as it loads the BPF code into the kernel using the BPF syscall. Um, now what's nice about Tracy is that by default it will only trace newly created processes or containers when using when using the container mode. Okay, so now that Tracy runs, we can just run a new process. Let's run for example ls and we can see that ls was automatically traced. Uh, you can see here the events that uh, were traced from the from the run of the ls command. These events include some metadata about the event, like the PID number, a timestamp, as well as the arguments given to the specific event that was traced. Also note that other than syscalls, we also trace other security-related kernel functions, such as security BPRM check, security file open, and cap capable. Okay, so security file open, security BPRM check, which is called when a new process is running, when exec VA is actually being called. Um, okay, so now let's add uh, the minus C uh, to the to Tracy. Now this argument tells Tracy to monitor newly created containers. Okay, so this time let's just wait it to load. Okay. Now if I run the same ls command I ran as before, nothing happens. Of course, because I'm not running it inside a container. However, if I run a container, let's say an Alpine container, oh, sorry, okay, so this time indeed we can see that the container is being traced and also the commands that are run inside this container. Okay. Another operation mode I want to show you is tracing a specific PID. For example, let's check the PID of some bash process. Okay. So here is the PID. and use it here as an argument to Tracy. Okay. 
and I have another terminal open here which of course have a different PID okay and if I try to run commands in this window nothing happens however if I'm running things from here it did, indeed we can see that things that I do here in this terminal window shows here including the commands that I run from this bash terminal okay now one last thing, thing that I will show is running Tracy with a, a specific event type for example let's try to run it with uh, open at syscall Okay, so if I run ls again, I can see here that only the open at events were traced. Okay, so there are other, uh, there are other features of uh, Tracy that I didn't cover here, and we'll probably cover them in future videos. If you are interested to explore some of these features now, you can run Tracy with the dash dash help. Uh, to see what other options are available okay um, that will be it thanks for watching this video and if you find it found it interesting stay tuned for other videos from us thanks